Hey guys, it's Derek there, Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft. Got another chrono today. This one is of a gun that I will keep the praise until the review. I will not, I will try not to praise this thing too much until the review. Uh, Real Sword has really won me over with their products as a whole. This is the Real Sword Type 56 II. Now you may be asking, what's so different? Why should you care? It's just another AK variant. <laughs> this thing is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this, I know a lot of people are probably going to try to flame me that haven't really picked up any of Real Swords, AKs, or AK variants, uh, but this AK, Real Sword easily makes the best AKs out of the market, over VSC, over pretty much any other company. These things are amazing quality. This is built to be a real gun first, and then built to be an airsoft gun second. One to one scale, same quality, same exact material. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's quite a bit heavy too. But uh, this is going to be the Chrono of the specific one using a 9.6 volt battery and 0.2 garam BBs. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing ready. I'm going to be using a 600 round high cap magazine. Comes with a gun. If you want to buy this gun, there's a link in the video information right over there where you can buy it over RDA's website. There's also a link over in the video information to RDA's forum where you can comment on this video. So with that said, let's see what this gun can do. Alright, so feet per second first. Again, 0.2 gram BBs and a 9.6 volt battery. 416. 416. 416. 407. 411, 404, 414, 414, 419. So it seems to be averaging around 415 feet per second, so just slightly weaker than the Type 97. However, definitely still a very, very strong gun. 415 feet per second is really nothing to be arguing with. Alright, so let's go rounds per minute. Full auto, 9.6 volt battery. Eight hundred and fifty. Eight sixty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. So it seems to be pretty consistent mid eight hundred range, which is pretty dang good for pulling this hard of a spring. That's definitely nothing to be arguing with. So overall, Chrono four hundred fifty feet, four hundred and fifteen feet per second, and around 850 rounds a minute with a 9.6 volt battery and 0.2 gram BBs, that's pretty dang good. Alright, so we're zoomed in on the can for semi-automatic, and then full auto. Already pretty, pretty effective, forgot to mention we're about a good 30 feet away from this can. Let's go full auto. All right, I think that's enough shooting. Killed it pretty quick. All right, so the can is pretty, dang, pretty chewed up. It's hanging on there really by one thread. Let me try to stretch this out here. This is like a can tried to play Twister with an airsoft gun. Didn't turn out well. <laughs> but this happened pretty quick. I mean, it's definitely a strong gun. Decent rate of fire, actually pretty well, pretty good rate of fire for what it's pulling, and uh, it's going to hurt to be shot with that. Alright, so as you guys just saw, the performance of this gun is definitely, definitely matched by, or the quality of this gun as a whole and the externals is definitely matched and backed up by the internals being pretty high quality, and when I mean that, I mean extremely high quality. Um, like I said, externally, internally, quality is the only thing Real Sword is thinking with this. This thing's shooting about 415 feet per second and around 850 rounds a minute with a 9.6 volt battery and 0.2 gram BBs. That's pretty dang good. It's going to hurt pretty bad if you get shot with this thing. This is, again, like I said, Real Sword makes the best AK variants out of the market. Easily the best AK variants out of the market. I'd go so far as to say that. Better than the VOC. So that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's Chrono of the Real Sword Type 56 II.